With COVID-19 shutdowns causing businesses to close unexpectedly, some people might be wondering whether they can get their money back for deposits they've paid for things for the future. Maybe you recently started personal training and paid for several sessions up front, or you bought a gift card to a local restaurant, and now you find out those companies aren't just shut down for now, they won't be reopening ever. So what happens to that money? Can you get it back? Legally speaking, yes, but it might be tough, and some people will lose out because the money might not be there anymore. As the saying goes, you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. When a business closes, the first thing it has to do is pay off all debts. That includes your deposit. But there might be a lot of people in your position, so it becomes a race to get a refund. You can always file a lawsuit to try to get your money back, but depending on how much you paid, it might not be worth the cost or the effort. If a business owes a lot of people money and files bankruptcy, your payment might have priority, but it has to stack up against everyone else's claim, and a court will decide who gets paid and in what order. Your best bet? Go straight to the source and ask directly for that refund and hope you're the first person in line to get paid out before everyone else starts asking and any official debt settling process begins. This is Stephanie Haney, Legally Speaking, for 3 News.